ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel it's been a few weeks since i uploaded and my apologies for the delay in content but we're back and a lot has happened in star citizen salvage has come at last in ptu 318 and with the open ptu slated to be coming maybe later on this week i thought it was high time i put out a quick tutorial on how salvage works which is of course the big title thing for 318 along with tons of other changes so without further ado, let's get started. Salvage honestly bears a lot of resemblance to mining in Star Citizen, and the two are very closely related in how you go about them. So first up, Salvage was going to require a specific dedicated vehicle in order to engage with it. Right now, Salvage can be done by the new Drake Vulture and also the Reclaimer, both of them now having the ability to do what's known as Hull Scrape. It should be noted that this is the first iteration of salvage and this will be continuing to develop as the game develops this is iteration tier zero of salvage a quick note to all the budding salvages out there although these ships are going to be available to use on ptu when this drops into live those ptu access ships will be taken away as a result right now the reclaimer can be bought for 15 million auec in game from new deal in lawville however there's no word yet of what's going to be happening with the drake vulture and whether or not that's going to be rentable or purchasable at the time of recording neither ship is available on sale on the storefront and there's been no word on either of the ships being rentable either so watch this space for more information once you have your salvage ship of choice it's straight up into space and start scanning for one of the lagrange points i find any of like the her l1s or arc l1 points to be great anywhere that has a space station and one of the nebulas with asteroids around it because that's where you're going to be finding the salvage prospects once you arrive on site, unlike when it comes to mining, you don't need to start engaging ship scanners to find prospects. Instead, you're going to be seeing a new symbol. It looks like a little boulder or rock with little tiny rocks coming off of it. And that symbol is the symbol for salvage prospects. Head toward one of these symbols and as you get closer, you'll then be able to actually target the vessel. You'll know if you've arrived at a worthy salvage prospect if you see a very beaten up and old busted looking ship with plenty of hull skin still on because that is what you're going to be salvaging. Once you've drawn up alongside of the target vessel, you want to get a little bit closer. I'd say the sweet spot's anywhere between 50 to 100 meters, although the beams will work out up to 150 meters away from your target. Any further, you're not going to be scraping anything. Press M on your keyboard in order to engage the salvage mode, and you'll be greeted with a brand new UI, which I shall now explain for you. Moving from the outside in, we've got the following UI options. The outer part of the UI shows several pieces of information, including the types of scraping heads you've got equipped on the vessel, the diameter, the speed, and the efficiency of which that head then scrapes hull, and the distance to the target. At the top of the UI, you've got the amount of cargo SCU available, the extraction rate, and the amount of overall vehicle hull still remaining to be scraped from the ship's chassis. Take special care to keep an eye on the cargo SE remaining as salvage takes advantage of the new physicalized cargo systems that have also come in the 318 and as a result once the one SEU of cargo is filled a one SEU cargo container will be deposited out into the hangar of your ship and will need to be moved in order to allow for more to be deployed at the bottom of the ui you'll have a readout for your two beams each of these will show how much valid hull the beams can scrape up how much of that is remaining and also the distance between the two beams you can adjust this to scrape more efficiently so in all the hull scraping process is a little like this find your target draw up to set target press m to deploy your hull scraping beams press g to toggle the gimbal left click to start and stop the beams right click to toggle between the two beams modes and use left alt and scroll wheel up or down to change the spacing between those two beams once the SEU container is completely full, get out off of your chair, go down to the cargo hold and move the box with a tractor beam. Then head back up to the cockpit and rinse and repeat until you have a full cargo hold. Once you're completely full, you have a couple of options. Either you can offload your cargo to an awaiting cargo ship in order to stay in and salvage more prospects, or alternatively head back to one of the major city ports. Don't go to any space stations or any outlying stations. You must go back to a major city like Lawville, Area 18, Orison, etc., etc., as you'll need to go to one of the trade and development stations or the TDDs, just like you'd be selling any large scale bulk commodity with the trading. Once you've landed, head to the TDD and interact with one of the kiosks, and you'll be able to sell your commodities and this new ui that's been added for 318 means that selling and buying commodities is actually easier than ever before 
So there you have it, a complete guide on how to access this latest part of the Star Citizen experience and start making your first steps as a salvager in the Star Citizen universe. Thank you so much for watching and if this video has been helpful for you and you think I deserve it, a subscription as well as a like and a comment would be absolutely amazing. If I've missed anything from this, then please do let me know. I read all the comments. Also, I'm live on Twitch four days a week, so come and join us there as we play Star Citizen and continue to investigate 318 and all of its glory. Also, a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you out there, and thank you for making the first year on YouTube a interesting one, to say the least. If nothing else, stay safe out there in the verse, and I shall see you in the next one.